Okay, we're working on a uh, earthquake Viper 99cc tiller. These are Honda clone engines. They're good little engines, but I see them all the time, and I wanted to bring this to you guys so you could see it too. Uh, almost every year, it will clog up the carburetor and it won't start. Sometimes you can ether them and get them going and they'll continue to run, but they just won't start by themselves. Here's the carburetor. Should have grabbed the bowl back here to show you. What dirt is on the side of that float I put there with my finger. The inside of this thing is cleaned. Here's your main jet right there above my thumb. Looks like it's a number 99. The reason this thing will not start on its own is because of that, what goes in that hole right there. That's your starter jet and it's laying right here. Okay, this starter jet looks like this. Okay, you can order them, you can get them in, and it'll work for a year and it'll quit. I'm gonna show you how to fix it permanently. This is a torch tip cleaning drill. These drill bits are so tiny. Like here's the number two Phillips next to it. They're like hair, okay? Get you one of these and the hole in the end of this, drill it out to the smallest size. It will use a little bit more gas on startup, but you won't have the surging, you won't have the problems with it not wanting to start or anything. Clean that while it's open. Go ahead and punch that out. And I always punch that out with a torch tip cleaner. You can do it with one of these. You don't have to, though. I just literally, it sits in my toolbox all the time with the smallest size stuck out. You ram it through the main jet. Put that back together, and I just about guarantee you it's going to run. I'll bring you back in a second when I get it put back on, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just so I don't forget, that is how clean the bowl is on the inside, and this joker will not start. That's what I'm talking about. It's the, it's the pilot circuit or the starter circuit. Give me just a second, and I'll bring you back and show you um, how easy this thing starts when you drill out that one little jet. Okay, so I got the carburetor back on. I'll just tighten these nuts hand tight. I'll put the intake on it here in a few minutes. I was just going to show you. All I did was drill that out. That's it. I'll go ahead and give it a, give it a pull. See how easy it starts? It revved a little bit. It surged a little bit when it first started because I don't think the carburetor was full yet. Other than that, the thing runs like a top. And it's that stupid little starter jet. Just drill that sucker out to the smallest size in one of them little pin. I think it's called a pin vise. It comes with the little pin. The drill bits come with the little pin vise. Just go ahead and drill them out to the smallest size and it'll fix your problem. I've done it too many times to count. I'll leave a link to... Uh, I'll leave a link to those one of those pen vices, like on an Amazon link or something. That way you can go get you one and fix your carburetor. And you don't have to take it to a repair shop. So, anyway, I hope that helped you guys. If it did, drop me a comment below. And uh, I appreciate you. Be sure and subscribe.